ahead to YouTube, fix and go hit the water and see if we can catch us some crappie. But first, I gotta make a stop here at my local bait shop and see it all we can find because I'm also planning on doing some walleye fishing here in a couple of days and I want to try some new stuff out. Well, like usual, anytime I go into a bait shop, I spend way more than I intended to, but it's all good. Met some subscribers, which is pretty cool, just shooting the shit with them. I mean, that's kind of what a bait shop is. It's, it's a hangout. So if you're in the Cleveland area and you need to pick up some fish and stuff, definitely stop by Fishtails. They'll get you took care of. Sitting down here underneath a bridge that we've fished under a couple of times here recently. And I got a new rod that I want to play around with and see how much I like it. And so far, without fishing with it, I like it more than the other version of the same rod that I have. Anyway, what it is that I've got here is a six foot six i believe it's six foot yeah six foot one piece acc crappie stick and i've got a uh monostratic 1000 from another rod on here for the time being but this rod while it is a medium medium fast like my other one this one has a much lighter tip so we're going to throw around a couple little lighter baits and see what these little micro bluegill feel like on this rod because there's still plenty of them up here, even after the slaughter fest I did with the mule fishing bait. So let's get tied up real quick and see what we can do in about 30 minutes or so. All right. You got to be kind of sneakily because this water is super clear. But also going to be a little bit quiet because there's a guy over here fishing. But we got a little 164th mule jig with a 1.2 mule mill tied on. Link in the top of the description so you can check them out and get you some. Helps me out. All right, this rod already casts these small baits much better than my other six foot ACC rod. There we go. Got yeah, us one of my one of my favorite fish. Now if it'll just be still long enough so I can get a picture. Get him unhooked and get him off here. This water has warmed up quite a bit, of course. It's also not 14 degrees outside like it was in the videos I was doing with this bait, a little torture test. It's actually like 60 something degrees today and it's it's a little bit spicy. All right, let's try to get turned around and go over here to the other side. Little mini gill. There's a bunch over there in that little pool on the far end of this little, little spot. Thing is, I can't reach them. Oh, <laughs> you snuck up on it. You had to sneak up on it, hit it like it owed you money. Oh, I didn't even know you were on. A little beast. Huh? 
There we go. Oh, I got nibbled a couple times and then missed it. That's a little bit nicer, bluegill. Have to apologize for the the glare. Ain't much I can do about that one. I do need to get a lens for my GoPro that can kind of help with that. Another monster. You know, I'm sure somebody's out there like, do you ever, does, or does this guy ever post anything other than bluegill videos? No, well, I do. But it's a fishing channel. Fishing implies catching whatever wants to bite. And fishing for whatever. And I am fishing for whatever wants to bite. That one's a little bit nicer. Now, for real, these little bluegill ain't putting a huge fight on this rod. It is a rod more designed for crappie fishing and a little bit bigger fish. But that's not the only thing it's designed for. And I'm probably going to slip and fall and regret this decision right here. But I'm going to go for it. Gotcha. That's a pretty little fish. But yeah, I know it appears that I only fish for bluegill and crappie and stuff like that. Well, depending on the time of year and what I feel like doing, that's pretty much it. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it is my channel. I can fish whatever I want. But thing is, the majority of us grew up fishing little places like this. Fishing for little bluegill, little creek bass. I think finally one that'll give me a little bit of a fight. That's a good sized little bluegill right yonder. That's a good one. That's probably Get close to about six inches, which is, you know, about average for this creek, or at least on the bigger end, I should say. I tell you what, that little mule jig, when it hooks something, my gosh, it hooks them. That little dude ain't coming off, coming out, or whatever. Link in the top of the description if you want to get you some. I wasn't sure if I even got that one. I felt a bump, but I wasn't sure if it had got it down good enough to, to do anything with. Speech. These tank gun fish, where my leader is connected to my braid, they're popping that little spot on the surface, like it's a little fly or something. Oh shoot! Ah, oh, <laughs> that was awesome. That that was. <laughs> I had that one hooked just right and at the right angle to where he was skiing across the surface. That was hilarious, but one had bit it before this one did, and I watched this one sneak up and grab it, and then that one decided to do some skiing. Hey, 
Hey, we go. But yeah, this is this is the type of fishing that I originally wanted this channel to be about. You know, little roadside creeks, little bass, bluegill, crappie. You know, the realistic, you know, average Joe type of fishing. You know, the type of stuff that you would take your kids out to do. You know, sit down on a creek bank with some worms or whatever. And just fish for whatever's willing to bite. And I think a lot of, a lot of people forgetting really, oh shoot. Really where their fishing roots are and it's off of a bank somewhere. You know, the more that I fish with this rod and catching these little bluegill and stuff, the more I am liking this thing. Oh, flop. It's got enough backbone, enough stiffness to handle some bigger fish, but it's light enough to handle bluegill and little stuff like that very well. I don't know how well you're hooked. Hey, you're hooked good enough. A little micro gill. Get you unhooked and get you back down there. Well, YouTube, I think we're going to call it quits on that one. Just a couple of bluegill here and about 30 minutes stop here underneath the bridge where we fished at a bunch of times before. And so far, I really really like this six foot one piece acc crappie sticks i also failed to mention it's got a split court rear butt section and it's a fairly short butt section which i really like so i don't have it getting tangled up in backpack straps or on my hoodie or whatever it's got plenty of backbone it's got plenty of you know plenty of tip to handle some bigger fish but it's just soft enough to where it still makes casting these micro baits and catching bluegill and stuff like that really fun and I believe these rods, depending on where you buy them at, this one at Fishtails was, I believe, $99. But that's about the price point they're going to be at. They're a very, very reasonable rod. The grips are super, super comfortable. And the weight of this rod by itself is 3.3 .3 ounces. That is stupidly light. So if you're looking for a rod that's going to be very well balanced for you know, creek fishing, bass fishing, you know, crappie fishing, stuff like that you need to check out the acc crop and stick six foot one piece rod it is a like i said a very well-rounded rod i'm glad i bought this anyway again top link in the description that's where you can check out some of the mule fishing baits that we use today hope you like the video thanks for watching